What's up? Jordan back with a video. Today I want to talk about tapping into the subconscious mind because your subconscious mind controls 95% of your life and what you experience and how you manifest things. So in order to manifest a good life, in order to achieve your goals, in order to create the life that you want, you have to tap into your subconscious mind because if you don't know what's in your subconscious mind, you can be in some serious trouble because this controls 95% of your life. Like, say that you have certain belief systems that aren't serving you or a certain belief structure or a limiting belief that is keeping you from living a life that you want. You want to go ahead and tap into it and find out what is causing you blockages and you manifesting the life that you want or what you want to experience because by all means, Having certain belief systems that don't serve us or limiting beliefs or thought structures or holding on to memories that we forgot about that don't serve us or any way or don't want to consciously think about. You're not consciously aware of what's going on in your subconscious mind. You want to tap into that and get to the culprit because if you don't, you'll be forever stagnant and you'll never reach your goal to live the life that you want or manifest what you're trying to create and not living your best life and not mani manifesting what you want has got to be the most terrible thing because that's what we were created to do. We were brought here to manifest and to live our best life and to enjoy all the gifts that this earth has for us. And so in order to tap into your subconscious mind, start journaling get a sheet of paper and a pen and write down okay there's a certain belief system in my subconscious mind that isn't serving me what is exactly holding me back and keeping me from living my best life you write this question down and then you start to think about okay what is the belief oh yes there's a certain belief system that is not working for me or a certain limiting belief that is deep in my subconscious mind. Now that I know the roots of it, I might ask myself, what is the cause of me believing this thing? Why do I believe that I can't reach my higher potential? Why do I believe that I can't live my best life? And then your mind starts picking up the memories of what happened during your childhood. Just making sure I'm still recording. You start picking up the memories. Oh, yeah, my parents said I had to work at a nine to five job in order to get some certain type of money or that I have to work extremely hard to do this. I got to work extremely hard to do that, that it only happens to those people. Listen, success could happen for anybody at any call. You just got to believe in yourself and you got to take action and you got to not give up and you got to keep working. Keep working. That's your goal. Sure, you might not see the results right away, but if you keep going at it, I promise you, you're going to be successful in no time. You're going to reach your potential and then nobody can say nothing about you because you kept going. You kept facing the obstacles. You kept pushing. You believe in yourself enough to achieve the goal. And you are about to see the results. You're about to see the fruits of your labor. No matter what the naysayers say, no matter what your haters say, keep going. Eliminate. I find that when you have haters that hate on you, that should, prom that should motivate you even more to succeed. Because when people say that you can't do something, that gives you more fire, more passion, and more confidence to tackle the goals that you want to achieve and be a major success in your craft. And then once you succeed, they don't like that. They can't stand that shit, so you got to just keep pushing and ignore the naysayers no matter what they say. Because you are a winner. You can do this. And so, yeah, keep going no matter what. And another way to, sorry, camera cut it off again, but yeah, 
keep pushing after your goals, keep working, keep striving, and you'll eventually get to where you want to get. And also, it's important to say positive affirmations for to yourself every single day. Write it in your journal, say positive things about yourself, say it daily, read it daily, and eventually your subconscious mind will pick up on those positive affirmations and it'll start and you'll start to believe it and it'll manifest for you in your conscious reality. Make sure that you have positive affirmations in your subconscious mind as well as your conscious mind. Of course, your conscious mind will be aware of it, but you want the positive affirmations in your subconscious mind so you can manifest great things and take your life to the next level. Because you are a winner. You're a king and a queen that came here to live their best life, and you deserve all the happiness in the world. We all do. We were not brought here to stress out and to live for other people's opinions. No. We are here to live our best life and manifest whatever we want to create. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. This is your homeboy Jordan signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch you later. Twenty twenty vision. Make your dreams come true. Alright, y'all. See you.